Hey, I'm Brandon, and we're here taking a closer look at the HJC i10 helmet available at RevZilla.com. So the i10 helmet is replacing the previous generation, which was the CL17 that I have over here on my left-hand side. This is gonna be a great option for sport riders, commuters alike, and you do get that new Snell 2020 certification. So if you wanna take this to your occasional track day, you can easily do so. Now we've got a polycarb shell main construction, two shell sizes, and the brake is right there at the medium. And you get four EPS with this particular helmet. Three pounds, nine ounces in a size medium, which is pretty Pretty impressive considering a helmet that is in that sub $150 marker and with that Snell certification as well again it's giving you the added benefit of the additional safety certification and you can take this to your track which is really really nice in a helmet that is sub $150 I definitely want to drive that home now the internal shape is going to be an intermediate oval so it's a bit more elongated front to back than it's going to be side to side so keep that in mind and I did want to mention that the cheeks felt a little bit snug when I first tried this helmet on but I'd certainly say that it's fitting true to size. I typically wear a size medium in most of my riding helmets. The medium fits me just fine and I measure just at 22 and a half inches around the full circumference of my head. Now this helmet will ship to you for free and as always we do have our price match policy in place which of course will guarantee you the lowest price available. Now there's been some updates from the previous generation that's what I want to talk about right now. You can see the ventilation has changed here on the chin. You definitely get a lot more airflow with the new updated vent system. You've got two vents here towards the top. And as we swing the helmet around to the rear, you've got some passive vents as well. And that's of course gonna keep the airflow moving through the helmet while you're riding, creating that Venturi effect. You've got a little brow vent. So all that ventilation gets pulled through the helmet, through the EPS, escapes the rear, and it's just gonna keep you comfortable while you're riding, of course. The overall shell is a little bit more streamlined as well. You know, they updated that, not dramatically, but it is a little bit more streamlined. It's a little bit quieter in comparison to the previous model. And a lot of that actually has to do with the shield, which is actually the next thing I wanted to talk about. They moved the locking mechanism on the shield over here right in front of the chin. It was previously on this side. The shield itself is a little bit stronger as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. Um, it's a little bit stronger as well. Uh, the detents are really nice on this and it has an excellent seal with the gaskets on this helmet as well. And that contributes to the overall quietness that you're gonna experience on the inside of the helmet. Now keep in mind, you know, it may change one rider to the next on what they're experiencing as, you know, quote unquote quiet. You know, the materials you're wearing, the rate of speed, the bike you're using, all of those are gonna to contribute to variables but I will say with the new gasket, it did help out quite a bit. You're still getting a pinlock ready face shield. The pinlock insert is not included, but at this price point, you know, you'd normally expect that. Something you can easily pick up, toss in there, and you'll be all set. And working our way into the interior, we do have a double D-ring chin strap here. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that so you can take a closer look on the inside. Cheek pads, everything's fully removable, it's washable. Take it out of here, keep everything nice and fresh on the inside of your helmet. Go ahead and get rid of that. And you also have a recessed area for speakers as well. I'll show you that in just a moment. Spin here to the side. You can see those speakers, and I'll take out the headliner in just a moment. And you're also going to see that there's a recessed area right here at the top of the chin bar as well. And that's actually designed to accommodate HJC's proprietary communication system that they de designed specifically to fit in this unit. They teamed up with Cena actually so they could utilize those units. Now, with that said, if you already have a Bluetooth communication system, you can fit that in here just fine. But if you want that proprietary unit, you have the option to get that and toss it in here as well. Now this is the headliner and you'll see that there's no pressure points along the temple or anything like that. It's very comfortable, very easy to remove, wash it, keep everything nice and fresh. Again, very important for the life of your helmet. And you'll see here on the inside, those recessed areas, some channels for the EPS for that airflow and that is the interior of the i10. Now, if you're looking for more details, of course, you can always reach out to our gear geeks. You can give them a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email, cs at revzilla.com. They're happy to help you out and get you pointed in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with us today and taking a closer look at the HJC i10 helmet. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.